Hello again, this is Tanya with Tinkerin' in Ink with Tanya, and I thought I'd show you this adorable pineapple thank you card. This is using um, the new background stamp, Pineapple, and as you imagine, can imagine, it's pretty large, and because I like to be able to ink the top and the bottom parts separately, I actually cut mine apart. This and I trimmed pretty close around all of the edges <clears throat> so you can see exactly where you're stamping. So it, as you can see it's very easy to line this back up the way it was originally intended but today we're going to take these and use them separately. And they both fit on the D blocks. You have to get a little creative with the pineapple top. I kind of line up the uh, bottom petals with the corners here. I guess those aren't petals, those are leaves. And this one just gets plopped right here. We're going to be working on some watercolor paper. We're also going to be using the Pop of Paradise stamp set. <clears throat> We're just going to use this one stamp. <coughs> the paper we're going to use is watercolor paper. This is a five and a quarter by four inch piece. This is a piece of Whisper White for the inside of the card. And this is for the banner. That is Whisper White, just a scrap out of my scrap bin. This is Delightful Dijon. Sorry about that, had to pause for a coughing fit. So this is a Delightful Dijon card base, uh, which is eight and a half by five and a half. Scored at four and a quarter. So we'll just fold that and use our bone folder. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, still a little bit coffee. So for this, we're first going to watercolor that background with a little bit of Peekaboo Peach. Love, love, love this color. So I'm gonna squeeze some ink into the lid and open that up and I'm gonna use Aqua, aqua Painter to create this background. So first I'm going to add some water to the watercolor paper. Then I'm going to pick up some ink and just add that <clears throat> to the watercolor paper. <clears throat> we can move that ink around, dilute it out, and if you find it's too strong for what you're intending, <coughs> you can always take a rag or a paper towel or something and dab off some of the excess color, which I'm going to do now. <coughs> I'm not even going to bother to dry this. Next up, we are going to use some crushed curry. Oop, I'm banging my tripod. <clears throat> to do the um, pineapple, and I'm going to need some scratch paper to stamp off on. So first I'm going to ink with the crushed curry, and then I'm going to take a, a soft suede marker and just tap all over the pineapple base. <clears throat> then I'm going to stamp off once. And I'm going to use my little water mister and spritz just once. You know, when you're actually hitting the, pa the stamp. And then I want to be pretty close to the bottom, otherwise it won't all fit. Let's make sure the pineapple's going in the right direction. <clears throat> and hold it there for a few seconds while that absorbs into the watercolor paper. And while we're at it, we're gonna do it on this piece also. So wipe that off so you don't contaminate your crushed curry pad with the soft suede. Ink that up tap again, <clears throat> stamp off once, 
and I'm not going to mist this time. I'm just going to go directly on <clears throat> this piece, just kind of in the lower corner again, making sure you got the right end up. <clears throat> and there you go. There's the pineapple base. Next, we'll move on to the top, which we're going to ink with wild wasabi <clears throat> yep that's wild wasabi had to make sure sometimes I grab the wrong color ink that up nice and you can add this or not it's up to you this is the emerald envy I'm just gonna brush some color variation onto the leaf I'm gonna clean my marker Stamp off once, and then let's just do this fella first. What I kind of do is line up the base of the greenery with the top center three um, parts there. Oh, got a little gap there. It's all right. <clears throat> so clean that again. And we're going to ink up with the wild wasabi. Glad I messed up on the inside, not the outside of the card. <clears throat> Don't know what I had on there, but picked something extra up. Again with the marker. Stamp off. Mist. And let's do a better job of lining this up. Maybe a little overlap is not a bad thing. Let that sit for a few seconds and absorb. <clears throat> Maybe we could have misted that just a little more. That's okay. We're going to add some Wink of Stella to this also, which is what we're going to do next. Sorry, I have to clean my stamps in between, otherwise I will make a mess. So this is the clear Wink of Stella. And we're just going to use this to add some sparkle to the whole pineapple. <clears throat> I kind of like to do the outline first and then fill it in. I've refilled this with water like three times already and it still gives a ton of shimmer. <clears throat> kind of works like an aqua painter. On this watercolor paper, it smooths out some of the color and adds that wonderful shimmer. This card just needed a little boost, so we did a little shimmer. Oops, outside the line. Clean off my <clears throat> glitter pen. <clears throat> and the next step is I need to stitch around the outside of this. So I'm going to pause that while I do that. All right, that's all stitched up. You certainly don't have to stitch. That's just something I really enjoy doing. I love the look of stitching on a card. So most of my cards have the stitching on it. I just don't feel like they're finished without it. Next up, we're going to do the thank you from uh, Pop of Paradise. And we're going to use the Archival Black ink. And since it's a linen pad, you can do the whole wiggle. Wiggle tap tap is how I do it. <clears throat> and then we're just going to stamp this on a scrap of whisper white paper. Hold it there for a few seconds. Let it absorb really well. And pick it up. There it is. Again, I'm going to clean that stamp right away so it doesn't make a mess because that's how I roll. Meaning, I make messes. <clears throat> I 
and that is just um, some simple green. That's what I, I dilute that out and use that. Now I've got another really cool product. This is not Stampin' Up! This is Dyes by Dave. He actually makes dyes that cut out a lot of Stampin' Up! images. Love these dyes. I mean, look at that. How cute is that? So I'm going to die cut that. I'll just, I have my magnetic plate here and a really used cutting plate. So I'm going to line those up and I'm going to run cut that out with the die cut machine. Hang on. So I have die cut that thank you out of the Whisper White. We'll pop that out. <clears throat> and put that away. <clears throat> I'm also going to use some gold thread and some dimensionals. So I'm going to trim three very little pieces to fit behind this banner. <clears throat> and then I'm going to make a little nest of gold thread. put behind this <clears throat> so I'm just going to wrap this around three fingers here a few times snip it off And take my little nest here and plop it on top of the dimensionals. I like to tuck the ends in. I don't like my ends showing. And I'm not too particular about what my circle looks like. It just has to cover some ground. All right, so we're going to center this on the pineapple. That looks about right. Looks pretty straight. <clears throat> and then we're going to assemble the card. <clears throat> Someone gave me a good tip online um, to use coasters as dimension on the back of your cards. I honestly can't remember who that was. I have a whole pile, like a thousand, of these uh, four inch square coasters. So yeah, I'll be using lots of these for dimension on whole panels. It's really slick. And of course, I have this ever lovely ATG gun. Love this thing. Use it to death. I need to cut one more little piece of coaster to fit on this and I'll be right back. So I'm back with my one inch and my four inch. I cut both of these down by about an eighth of an inch, so they will fit behind this four inch panel just fine. Just line that up. <clears throat> Same with this one. And use the ATG gun again. Ooh, shifting my... so to speak. Find the bigger half, that would be this side. Center that nicely. <clears throat> and then a couple strips of ATG on this. Try not to rock our world. <clears throat> and there we have a completed card. Check out my blog for more details. I'll have a list of all the supplies I used and links to die, uh, Dies by Dave also. <coughs> I hope you enjoyed this and you'll come back for more. Thank you. Bye-bye.